Greetings. We are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. We usually just bring you scientific evidence for the existence of God, but today, I'm going to veer off the path of science, straight into full-blown conjecture-based conspiracy theory. Sounds like fun. First we'll take a brief look into the UFO phenomenon, then we'll take a closer look at the issue of angels and demons, and see if there is any possibility that they intersect at some point. So what do we know about angels? Not much. The word angel, simply means messenger. But not all angels fall into the same category. We think that most angels, are living breathing entities, but for all we know, they could be androids. Human-like robots. And what are demons? They are disobedient fallen angels. So what if angels actually are androids, that developed artificial intelligence? That could have led to free will, and ultimately to rebellion. We don't have a lot of insight, but the tale of their demise, goes back before recorded history. We know that there is a head demon, known as the serpent, or Satan, the deceiver. We are first introduced to this entity, in the book of Genesis. It says that he tempted the first humans to follow him, in his path of pride and disobedience. But the deceiver and the deceived, get their just reward, and all fall under the curse of the rebellion. Now we get into the juicy stuff. I always imagined that the angels were interdimensional beings, that popped into and out of our dimension, at will. But that may not be the case. We see in the book of Daniel, that the angel Gabriel, was hindered from reaching Daniel, because of demonic interference. So much so, that Gabriel had to call in backup from the warring angel, Michael. I can't imagine anyone being able to interfere with interdimensional travel, as it would seem to be instantaneous. But who knows? Like I said, this is just a little light-hearted conjecture. So it looks like these angelic beings, aren't the supermen that I had always supposed. They evidently have different ranks and different duties, as well as diversified gifts and abilities. Gabriel appears to be a good talker, as he always seems to be called upon to pronounce official spiritual revelations. Michael seems to be a man, or angel, of few words. He lets his fists to the talking. He makes our fictional superheroes look like one-day-old newborns. Super strong, but certainly not omnipotent. So if the angels and demons are not interdimensional, how do they get here, from wherever it is that they're coming from? That's where the UFOs come in. It would appear, that they may possibly be traveling through wormholes, from another part of the universe. Now we cannot definitively rule out the interdimensional possibilities, but that would not require a physical spacecraft. And, that's right, you guessed it, that's my conjecture-based conspiracy theory, UFOs are being piloted by angels, not aliens. Well I guess they are aliens, just not what we usually think of, when we think of aliens. It's ironic that some of the aliens are referred to as the reptilians. Remember back to Genesis, that the serpent, the deceiver, orchestrated the first human rebellion, and was somehow reptilian in nature. And let's face it, most human interaction between the pilots of UFOs, has been quite unpleasant. If they are fallen angels, they are simply living up to their reputation. So let's come back down to Earth. Is any of this possible? Almost anything is possible. To grasp the supernatural, you almost have to go into sci-fi mode. But is that a bad thing? Is that wrong or incorrect? No more than when you start dealing with string theory or multiple universes. We live on a crazy planet, in a phenomenal universe. And we're still learning. Our eyes get opened a little wider every day. What we called conspiracy theory a hundred years ago, today, we call science. All I can say is, I'm going to keep an open mind. Peace be unto you and your house. Studying the physical laws that govern our universe, like quantum mechanics, causes us to question everything. Quantum mechanics violates many of our well-loved preconceptions. It causes us to literally redefine our perception of reality. And the realm of the supernatural, is no different. But reality, is a state of mind. Think outside the box my friend. Allow your mind to embrace the possibilities of the supernatural. Allow your spirit to embrace the possibilities of God.